This was a place of respite for civil rights leaders where they would pull away from the battle to recharge and refocus and develop strategies for how they were going to attack the important problems of the day. So we felt like this place should be a respite for today's leaders to come to recharge and refocus and solve the important problems of the day. Through the kindness and the generosity and the compassion of so many friends and so many donors, we have been able to not only restore the property, but restore the legacy and how this facility was used within the African American community. I am determined that here on this property is where people who genuinely want to fix things, solve problems, make America live up to its promise can come here and do that. Let's teach them critical thinking, how to build consensus, how to solve problems, how to work across ideological and party lines in order to improve the lives of Americans. I feel as though the Gloucester Institute is an incubator. It's an incubator for our very hopes, our dreams. I would say that it was the very start of a journey for me to becoming a lifelong enthusiast of solutions and humanity and working in that way to make a better world. And I am currently now Chief of Staff at the U.S. Black Chambers, which we represent the nation's 3.12 million Black-owned businesses. The community at Glasser Institute is family-oriented, caring and loving, and you're surrounded by people who want to see you do great, who encourage you to do great, and has changed my life and perspective um, by developing me into a thought leader. I always thought of myself as a leader before attending, but when you're put in a room with other strong, up-and-coming leaders, it really challenges you and sharpens you. The Gloucester Institute opened up an opportunity for me to be able to work on Capitol Hill. We need to continue that legacy and continue to develop thought leaders. That's what's going to make the world a better place. The Gloucester Institute has played a vital part of my life, both personal and business-wise. They have given me a major network of people uh, from Capitol Hill, to even the people who come through the program, it has played an intricate part of who I am, uh, the confidence in which I have. It allowed me to actually move into the role in which I have. I went from being an educator, which was something I dreamed to do. Now I actually have an office in City Hall and I actually work with the mayor. Kay Coles James and Charles James have always taught every person who has been associated with Gloucester to celebrate the marketplace of ideas and to celebrate diversity of thought in the public square. The very foundation of my public affairs firm is grounded in those principles. I am floored by the young people that I've met who are part of the Emerging Leaders Program who are impacting every industry. Gloucester is actually showing results. It's actually making an impact. If you're wondering what you can do, it's by supporting the people who are actually out there doing the work and getting it done. And so I like to tell donors, every single donor is here in these rooms, making a difference in these kids' lives. If you are looking for a way to make a significant difference in the future of our nation, invest in these kids. They are going to be the people that lead us. We should give them the best that we can give them and prepare them for leadership. And I would tell donors, I give you my word, I will pour everything I have into these young people. We love the Gloucester.